For more tips and tricks, don't forget to hit that button and subscribe. Also, ring the bell so you can get notifications anytime I have new videos. I have some important information to share with you guys. We're going to have a giveaway of Stone Cody Epoxy, three one gallon kits. And all you have to do is share this video and drop a comment and you'll be answered. My friend needs help. He's on the fire department. He just got hired and he has a child that has cancer. So his insurance didn't kick in yet. We have a GoFundMe link down below. You can share this with other people and donate $5 if you want. If you don't have money, don't worry about it. Share the link. It's very important that we get this out there. Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. I'm Paul Ricaldi, and I have the most exciting project that I've ever done. I got Bud, Steve, and Big Cypress. The shape of these came from the root ball of a 2,000 year old tree. Actually, over 2,000 years. We have the carbon aging data that proves it was 1,280 years ago that this tree died and the tree is well over a thousand years old. And you're not gonna believe how it was found. My buddy Big Cypress is gonna tell you a little bit about it. This was found in Donaldsonville, Louisiana, am I right? Yep, it was found by a pipeline digger. Digging, he hit it 20 feet down. There was three of these stumps sticking straight up, just like the day they were growing, 20 feet down. Hit something firm, boom, Dang. picked them up. This is what you call a book match. It's cut straight down, all right, so that way, you have two pieces that mimic each other. And this is the first two slabs off the Sinker Cypress root ball. So we're gonna flip this thing open and it'll be grain matched. See how the grain flows? That's from having the book match. We're doing our layout, and when we do that, we have a one inch board that we're setting on the edge because we don't want this to come too far to the end. We want a good inch of epoxy around this. This is gonna be encapsulated. The great thing about these buckets is the stuff does not stick to it. We're ready to pour this and we're gonna use stone coat casting epoxy. This is super cast, great stuff. We're gonna start off with an inch and a half pour on this and then we'll top it off after. Paste this in there. Flex seal. <laughs> 24 hours later, we'll readdress this. See you guys. We're going to take it over to the table saw, square everything up, and then we're going to DA sand it. Right, guys? Yep. Yes. We finished sanding and it's ready. We went with 80 and, and 100 on the DA. We just want to get a little sealer on it so we can get an idea what it's going to look like. Then we'll flip it over and, and work on the top. Big Cypress is going to take care of it and uh, spray this for us. He's just going to spray the bottom, not the sides or, or the top. We're going to seal this with two coats of conversion varnish sealer. From the minute this log was milled, we knew exactly what it was going to be. 
it's finally done and, and we, we absolutely love it. If you guys want to see more projects that are as cool as this, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. From Paul's Toolbox in Southern Wood, you, you got, got this! It. Once that's done, put it back on. <laughs> Bud! This is some sticky tape. Set your backing in there and it's not going anywhere. Confuse me because you put that on that side. But... That sure is. <laughs> me up too. <laughs> After our first pour, we took it out. Wait it for a second. Okay. 48 hours later. Okay. Go ahead. Want me to start? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right there. Yep. Except yourself, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's where TJ takes over again. And what did you put on there? Two coats of conversion varnish sealer on the back side. Lock it in. Keep it, keep it tight. Louder. Okay. All right. We put two coats of conversion varnish sealer on the back side just to keep it level, keep it breathing. I'm Big Cypress from Southern Wood, and I put the woo in wood, baby. Woo! Steve, you, you kind of like do it. <laughs> You're like kindergarten kid. <laughs> Steve's going. Hey, I'm gonna have my meds. What are you talking about? Simple, quick. What did I do? No, you can look at this camera. You said that was dead. No, I turned. Didn't I put, put a new battery in it? I put a new battery in it. Hey. Well, that's it for now. If you guys found this useful, please do me a favor and smash that like button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve's working hard over here. We're Knocking them down. Oh, you gotta be good at something.